Hello there, and welcome to today's presentation. Top 10 ships that everybody wants. Let's start with number one. Naruto and Sasuke. Unfortunately, they never got together. Spoiler alert. Mark Fishback. And any sponsorships. Like any. Samsung Messages and Google RCS. <laughs> Jokes on you. Do you remember the video I did before? You don't? Okay, just skip ahead. <laughs> oh shit, you do? Okay, I showed you how to enable RCS in Samsung Messages. Because Samsung Messages has more features and it's better overall for us Samsung users. But starting with December 2020, Samsung patched that method so you, you can't do it anymore. So I guess I'm not giving up because you know what? If you remember, when Samsung released the Galaxy S21 Enhance 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 even more Do you see that? Well, Google Messages is native to Galaxy S21 and newer devices Well, still you may say it has less features, right? No, no, no Today I'm gonna show you how to install the Samsung One UI version of Google Messages Yes, they're developing a secret or beta version you may call it of google messages which has the one ui design and soon to be added features so we can finally have rcs without complicated patches and stuff like that and you may be asking what's rcs well check the other video by clicking on on this or this card so let's just get into it well here we are this is how google messages normally looks like what we're gonna do is install the One UI version. So, first of all, uninstall Google Messages. Tap and hold on its icon, tap on uninstall, and then OK. Now open the browser of your choice, in my case it's Samsung Internet, and then you can go to the link I have provided in the description directly, or just go to AP, AP, AP key, apkmirror.com there, search for Google Messages. And now that you're here, install the most recent one. It's usually the one on the top. So tap on it, scroll down. And as you can see, there are three variants here. Tap on the one that says Samsung. Scroll down again and tap on download APK bundle. Wait, and then tap on download. Now the only issue with this method is that you will have to update the app manually. So I suggest you bookmark this page and keep checking periodically for new versions. Now, go to the Play Store and search for APK Mirror and install the APK Mirror installer, the first one, install. Now that it has been installed, launch it, browse files, give it all the permissions it asks, it needs them to install the app, allow, and then, in my case I have downloaded it in my downloads folder, tap on the file you downloaded before, tap on it, click on install package, install app, allow from this source, go back, and then install app. When this pop-ups, tap on install and wait. Okay, now it has been installed. As you can see, the icon is the same. Launch it, set it as the default SMS app, messages, set as default. Then tap on the triple dot at the top right and then settings, chat features, and enable chat features. Allow. Now, 
you have to wait for it to be activated. As you can see, it got activated in a second. If the status gets stuck on connecting, I suggest you restart the phone and try again. Now that it's enabled here, there's also a Samsung specific setting at advanced. Text on Galaxy devices. Enable it and you can now send messages via Bixby. Now close the app and launch it again. And as you can see, it looks almost like the Samsung messages. Well, it's still a work in progress, so it will change more in the future. If you're from the future, hi, this is how it looked like before. Well, that's all here. Now you have RCS and soon to be added Samsung features in Google messages. Well, now that you've installed it, don't forget to share it with your friends because both of you need to have RCS enabled for you to actually use it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you have any questions, comment below and I will try my best to answer them. And if you want more stuff like this, subscribe to become a pro. Bye.